The sun had already set, turning the sky into a deep shade of blue. It was the kind of sky that seemed to stretch endlessly, and almost made the surrounding darkness seem bearable. I had been walking through the woods for hours, trying to find my way back home. It had been a long day, and I was exhausted. I had been out exploring, and had gotten lost somewhere in the forest. I hadn't seen another soul all day, and the only sound was the wind rustling through the trees. Suddenly, I heard a noise co. Ming from somewhere nearby. It sounded like someone was calling out for help. I stopped in my tracks, not sure what to do. Should I investigate? Or should I keep walking and hope that the noise would stop? I decided to investigate, and cautiously stepped into the darkness. As I made my way forward, the sound of the voice became louder and more distinct. It was a woman's voice, calling out in desperation. I followed the sound until I came to a clearing in the forest. In the middle of the clearing W. As a small cabin, the woman's voice was coming from inside, and I could see a light flickering through the windows. I was both curious and scared, but I knew I had to find out what was going on. I slowly approached the cabin, and peered through one of the windows. Inside, I saw a woman sitting in a chair. She was wearing a long, white dress, and her hair was pulled back in a neat bun. She was looking around, as if she was searching for something. Suddenly, she stopped and turned to look directly at Timmy. I could see her eyes, filled with an intense fear. She started to scream, and I jumped back, startled. I had no idea what was going on, but I knew I had to get out of there. I quickly turned and ran, not daring to look back. I ran until I was far away from the cabin, and then stopped to catch my breath. I was relieved to be away from the strange woman, but I couldn't help feeling a deep sense of dread. I eventually made my way back home, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being full. Oh, everywhere I went, I felt like someone was watching me. I was constantly looking over my shoulder, expecting to see the woman from the cabin. A few days later, I received an invitation in the mail. It was from the woman in the cabin, and it was addressed to me. The invitation asked me to attend a party at the cabin. I was both intrigued and scared, but I knew I had to go. When I arrived at the cabin, I was surprised to find that it was filled with people. Everyone was dressed in white, and tea. The atmosphere was eerie. I quickly realized that I had been invited to a seance. The woman in white sat in the center of the room, and everyone gathered around her. She spoke in a low voice, and everyone listened intently. She told us that she had been searching for something, and that she was desperate to find it. Suddenly, she stopped and looked directly at me. She said that I was the one she had been looking for all along. She said that I was the key to unlocking the secrets of the past, and th. That I could help her find what she was searching for. I was both terrified and intrigued, but I knew that I had to help her. I agreed to take part in the Shayans, and the woman thanked me. The Shayans began, and I felt a strange energy in the room. I closed my eyes, and suddenly I was transported to a different time and place. I felt like I was in a different world, and I saw things that I never could have imagined. The woman spoke to me, telling me of the secrets of the past. I was scared, but I knew that I had to keep going if I ever wanted to get out of there. Suddenly, I heard a loud banging on the door. It was the police, and they had come to arrest the woman in white. She had been searching for something that she was not supposed to have, and had been using the Shayans to try and find it. The police took her away, and I was left alone in the cabin. I gathered my things and quickly left, never wanting to return to that place again. I still feel a deep sense of dread whenever I think about tea. Hat night. I know there are things in this world that are better left unknown, and I'm grateful that I was able to escape the cabin before it was too late.